On October 1, 1968, the body of Stevan Markovic, former bodyguard of actor Alain Delon, was discovered buried in a public landfill in Ellen Court. In a letter sent a few days before his disappearance, he wrote, If something happens to me, you should look into Delon and Marcantoni, a real gangster. The investigation quickly took a different direction and focused on the parties that Stefan Markovic used to organize. The far-right newspaper Minute claimed that a gangster was negotiating high prices for compromising pictures of his guests, including the wife of a prominent politician. The name of Claude Pompidou, the wife of the Prime Minister, was dragged into the scandal. Georges Pompidou became aware of a manipulation orchestrated against him by his rivals within the ruling party, who were sharpening their knives in preparation for succeeding President Charles de Gaulle. He was deeply affected by this, and in 1969, when he assumed the presidency, he immediately secured the departure of Jean-Charles Marchiani, a secret agent whom he wrongly believed to be responsible for the doctored photo of his wife. The Vice Squad later discovered that the photo had been taken from a Swedish erotic magazine with Madame Pompidou's face pasted onto it. Marcantoni spent 11 months in prison before being released on bail in December 1969. He was only acquitted in 1976 due to a lack of evidence. Guarding this case, he uttered the famous phrase, There are only three of us who know the truth, the law, me and God, and the latter is not a snitch.